sister. I play the guitar and I sing. Hi, my name is Michael. I play the bass. My name's Jarrett and I play drums. Uh, <laughs> Mark, <laughs> ceiling's leaking. Like, a, 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 it's a shed. It's a literal shed, so it leaks. <laughs> Marissa and I were in this band that was not very good. Michael and I were in this band called Surgery on TV, and we had a drummer. And we sucked. And we had a keyboard player, and we were very bad. I went up to Marissa and I was like, hey, you know, I really I really like your band. And she was like, yeah, but our drummer sucks. And I was like, wow, that's funny. I've been saying the same thing. We've been across the country, a little snippets of Canada. Streaming females have played. Um, I forget what the latest count was, but it was something like uh, 38 states or something. They played their first show three or four years ago in a uh, basement of the parlor in New Brunswick, New Jersey. They rocked everybody's face off. Like they had to get a mop to like mop up all the faces that like were on the floor. Marissa plays guitar like she sold her soul to the devil and then stole it back from him. Mike, he just plays really funky bass lines. Um, Jarrett D like brings incredible funky rhythm. They really revitalized the scene in New Brunswick. Jared D being one of the most efficient uh, managers, drummers, and just organizers in terms of music and shows I've ever seen. Screaming Females has, <clears throat> since the beginning, been almost entirely DIY. Like, do it yourself. It's just like we, were just, we weren't going to wait around for somebody to come up and ask us to release an album because I figured it would never happen. We talked to this one manager dude. He at some point told me, when I told him no to some of his suggestions, he told me that uh, I was gonna have to learn how to jump through some hoops in this business or I was never gonna make it. And I said, fuck that, man, I don't need you. It's been a lot of hard work, a lot of mistakes, just doing everything wrong before I did it right.
First off, first off, there's no the before before screaming it's female. Because so individually, we are not screaming females. Like I am not a screaming female, so there's no the. It's more of a concept. <laughs> well, it has a lot to do with Jared's bed. Jared D played naked once. I think I think the crowd actually chanted him to play naked. Marissa has been known to play so furiously that her fingers start bleeding, and she doesn't stop to get a band-aid to get a moisty nap. No, no, she just keeps playing. And I personally think that blood makes it sound better. Marissa is also one of the greatest artists I've ever met in my entire life. Making all the flyers, posters, uh, art on the albums, um, t-shirts, all handmade, everything. All done by her. The few like weirdo kids who aren't like douchebag, like, like, you know, frat jock, date rape motherfuckers and serostitutes. The weirdos who like music and stuff, you know, they need something to do. And I'm glad that I can help out. Uh, you know, I need a job, but it would be nice if this could be my job someday. Just, not even like, ideological because it's not like oh I want to do this to be cool or I don't want to do this because someone else did it but you can do this someone else did it and you can do it you know you you can just get out there and play for people and even if you only play for five or six people every time if you play 60 shows in a summer you've ended up by the time you get home you know there's bad shows and good shows you've played for thousands of people and you can do that because I've done it we've done it <laughs> I'm sorry, 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 I'